Welcome back to Pathologic 2. It's about 3 p.m. on day 7. At this point, we've been to the shelter and uh, given immunization to Lara, and we've been to the town hall and gotten our reward from the last day. We've done our stuff at the theater as well. Also visited Aglaya. And now I'm about to go see Var because I got marked on my map when I took some Twyrine. And just outside of their place, by the way, I found a barrel of water. Finally, I've been, like, my my thirst was literally maxed. Because I don't think thirst actually goes all the way up to the complete top. It seems to max out somewhere about here, like, maybe 75%. It had been maxed for a while. And, god, most barrels, when you go to start taking water from them, at least this late in the game, they're usually pretty limited with how much water they have, and they run out pretty quickly. This one, I thought it had unlimited. It didn't, but it did hold 24 bottles of water. Actually, 25, because I drank from it on my own once. That's amazing. A big-ass barrel. Now that I have water, I can also finally eat. I'm actually super hungry. Mm, smoked fish. Toast. Apple. Apple. Do I have anything else? Nope, that's it. And that's almost all my hunger anyway, so that's fine. Alright, why is the town calling me to Var's place? This probably happened in the last playthrough, I just can't remember why. Well, this creepy chemist is gone, that's good. I'm not a pretty dancer, so stop gawking. If you've got business, say it. I'm not here for you. I dropped by to see your chemist, but he's not around. So I've got no one else to gawk at. Bite your tongue, little bird. Off, preferably. I'm buying. <laughs> so what happened to the chemist? I don't know. I'm not the one informing on people. You can tell me what happened to the chemist. Only I don't care. His actions threatened us all, don't you see? Oh, don't mind me. Want to know where he is? Ask the people that took him. I know nothing. And if I did, I wouldn't tell a mole. So off you go to your little hole. I'm busy. Is there any reason to find the person? Like, can I go to the jail and find them? Why, though? I mean, business is taken care of, right? Was that going to add a marker? It didn't. Wait, I can have the same dialogue with him? Was the chemist arrested? I don't know. I'm... Okay. What? It just doesn't go away? Huh. Well, the mark is gone on the map, so... Hmm. Well... <sighs> I mean, if they're marked on the map, then I feel like there must be something to this, right? There must be something I can follow up on about the chemist. And they mentioned speaking to the people that arrested them, which would be the Sabarovs, or no, um, the Kynes, because Victor Kine was the one I told about the whole problem. I guess I should go try to speak with them. Maybe. I don't know. Do I want to buy anything? Uh, the bandage, yeah. I want to get a nice stockpile of bandages. I am not going to sell the organs. I want to keep those for my own purposes. Brewing medicine. Let's get the Twyrine and an immunity booster, too. Where are you going to point me to? This cache? Hmm, there must be something new there. I've already been to that cache. Yeah, it's marked off. Well, let's go visit it, and then I guess also speak with Victor. I just found a working pump, just slightly down the street from Var's place. Every single one of these I've found have been broken. Not this one. Weird. I'll take it, though. Now I've got 36 filled waters. Nice. Can't speak with Victor Kine. Well, in that case, I don't know who I would try to speak with about the arrest, or even why I would care to. 
I mean, Sabarovs are the muscle. Maybe the kinds told the Sabarovs to do it. I, I don't know. I don't think I need to pursue that any further, though. Let's go check out this cache. Mysterious note. The Ripper's murder will come to Friday's yard when pigs fly. You hear that, Ripper? We found him. So that's the dude that tries to kill me on sight. Some dude that did something bad and probably does indeed deserve to die. But not my father's murderer. Let's leave something here. Um, do I have any walnuts? I don't want to leave a fingernail. I guess I will. Does that get marked right now or is that something I have to wait for? I think I said guess I'll have to wait a bit. Yeah. Back home. I want to do all this stuff over here, like go see Ruben. Help out Saba, go see Grace, go see Anna Angel, but first... I have an almost full inventory, I should get some stuff brewing, see if I can repair some stuff. Do I need to repair anything? <laughs> yes, these boots are about to break. Oh, I don't have another thimble. That doesn't need to be repaired, that's good. That's all good. That does need to be repaired. All right, that's all good. I have a toolkit. What did I need to tinker with this thing? Oh, the toolkit plus some scrap. I don't have the scrap, but I almost have everything I need to get that to the max level. Hmm. Oh, I think I have things that I brewed here, right? The panacea. I didn't have room. I got too many damn organs in here. <laughs> um, yeah, let's use all four infected brains. I'll mix those with zir tinctures. Well, I should probably do a spread of tinctures, shouldn't I? Because they're going to become antibiotics, so it'd be good to have multiple kinds of antibiotics. Right now, I have a crap ton of Yoss antibiotics that I've brewed, so I should probably make zir and medrul. But I don't want to use the Metro Pluses, so I should probably brew some plain ones. Let me sort my mess of an inventory. Let's make some basic Metro Blood and Black. Price of salt is going up. Are Let's pick enough just to it's brew like all these out. things. There we go, and they're all made of the same stuff, so they're all going to stack, which will be really nice. Let's get back up to a full stack of Metro Plus. I have 13 Swivery, so it's easy enough to do. 9, 10. That's good, and honestly, I don't think I need any more tinctures, really. That's very good. I can't make any other type of pluses, because I only have Swivery as my special one. And I have 5 Yas and sis, sis, 6 Zeers. Yeah. Yeah, that's plenty. Right, that's my inventory sorted. I should eat food. Milk might pretty much satiate my hunger. Pretty much. I could eat a couple Kaushiks. I don't think there's any need to. I'm wondering if I want to keep the Inquisitorial coupons on me. Or if I should just leave them here. Let's keep them on me. So I'll take these that I bought from Creepy Death. As opposed to not creepy death, you know, the nice one. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Let's give a prophylaxis to Andreas Damaton. I'm curious how a Medrill Plus would fare compared to an immunity booster. Immunity booster almost certainly is worse, right? I mean, this is made with a special herb. Let's go visit Reuben. This is where they're dead tired, I believe. And I talk to them in their sleep. This is the last thing I did with Reuben in the last playthrough before they died. They just ended up dead. 
So this worries me. But, I mean, I've done so much. I've done all I can, as far as I know, on... on the cure. I was just thinking, maybe I should go to Stehen first. Maybe I would have... better things to tell Reuben in his sleep. Hmm... I'm going to load my game back at the pub and head towards Stehen first. Actually, I loaded my save game from my lair because it's pretty time inefficient to go here and then up to here and then back down. So I just loaded from here and then I'm just going to go here to treat Saba, here to do the grace thing, and then here to Shehen. So let's treat... Let's treat Saba. Man, your immunity is very low. Yeah, it's only like 60% now. It'll have to do. Here at the cemetery. Let's speak with Grace. I'm still not sure what I want to do here. Burn the bodies. Don't burn the bodies. Have the rats deal with it, whatever that means. Will I be integrated as well? You. You brought new bodies, didn't you? Please. Enough. Stop bringing them here. There's so many of them I can barely hear. Grace, this is a graveyard. This is where the dead belong. Imagine 50 people crammed into this room. You can't bend your knees, can't turn, can't scratch your back, can't even shrug, and it lasts for days. How would you feel? It's torture. They feel nothing, kid. They're dead. No, they care. They feel. And there's no peace for them now. That's all they need. Consolation and peace. There is no one more miserable, more helpless than the dead. Can't you see that? Perhaps, but the living are more important. No, doctor. You don't believe me, do you? Go and listen. Go listen to those huge graves. They dump people there by the dozen. Hello. You don't have legs, do you? You're just floating. Creepy. Cold. I see. Cold. I see. Cold. All cold. All. Cold. Icy cold. At first it says icy cold like frozen ice, but then it says I see, like with my eyes, I see cold. <laughs> They're called the cold ones. Has Grace given me the power to hear you somehow? All call, all cold. I see. I see. Lacking. Clad in cold. Is Isidore Burach among you? Call one, call all. All one, alone. I don't know what to make of this. Oh. Like... On the surface, it just looks like I should burn them, because it's the best thing for the public health, and it seems like they're cold, <laughs> and burning them would bring warmth. But what if there's more to it? <laughs> it's too crowded underground, indeed. Nice meeting you once again, my dear hometown. If I burn the grave, this will stop for sure, but should I? I don't know. I don't know. Far as I know, there's three ways out of this. Leave the bodies, burn the bodies, have the rat do something with the bodies. Human. 
Rat, I'm not. What are you then? A thing of shadow, a thing of the depths, a thing of earth, flesh of her warm flesh. I know the answers. You don't even know the questions. What seek you within me? Hmm. Okay, the Rat Prophet appears incredibly creepy. And my idea, and the reason I avoided them last time, is because rats are associated with plague and spreading the plague and disease. So I was thinking, how are they going to deal with the bodies? And I thought maybe it would be eating all the bodies and spreading plague even further. But, as they say, they are a thing of the depths, a thing of earth. Flesh of her warm flesh. They come from Mother Bodo. Can they really be evil? The plague, the sand pest, also comes from Mother Bodo. That's definitely evil. Truth is what I'm seeking. What do you want to hear, human? How many dead do you think are down there? More than I would like. Any other questions? Are the dead truly uncomfortable down there, or does it only seem that way to the living? You'll know when you're dead. <laughs> How do I stop their screaming? It can be arranged. It would be my pleasure. Should I make it less crowded? Hmm. Oh, look at this. No, wait. I don't like the way you just licked your snout. It would be my pleasure. They're going to eat the fucking bodies. Mm. No, I don't like this. Once again, I don't like this. I'm almost certain it has something to do with spreading the plague, eating the bodies. And if I want to, you know, get rid of the bodies, then instead of being eaten, it makes more sense just to burn them. How are you going to arrange that? Safe and sound. So? Not a town hall clerk awaiting your orders. Forget it, I can sense that your plans are vile. And then I think when I look away, it'll be gone. Oh! <laughs> okay, it just disappears on its own if you stare at it too long. Awkward. Should I bring the bodies right now, or should I go speak with Grace about it? Uh, we'll speak with the race about it. Actually. Actually, no. I'm going to burn the bodies this time. I didn't do it last time. I just left the bodies and relocated Grace. And I don't remember hearing anything more about the bodies piling up after that, which is kind of weird, because I didn't deal with the bodies really at all. They're just still there. Yeah, I'm going to burn them. God, I hope this is the right choice. burned the grave. Other grave diggers will become bolder now. There will be fewer misplaced fewer misplaced dead. Other grave diggers will become bolder now. I don't quite understand what that means. Can I speak with him by any chance? While they're burning. I don't relish bringing this news to Grace. Not that I even need to bring it to her. I mean, given that she can hear them, I'm sure she already knows as soon as I started burning them that I'm burning them. I just hope it doesn't kill Grace or something. Sleep is an indulgence. I can go without. Oh, what have you done? What have you done? 
I do pity your dead, but I tend to the living. They're more important. No, it's the dead who are important. The living can take care of themselves. The dead can't. I'm sorry. Don't come here anymore. I don't want to see you. For some time. So I guess this means that they stay here if you burn the bodies. You don't even have the option of having them go to another place? Maybe I can make it up to you. The dead no longer smother Grace. She's unhappy about it. I'm fine having offended her as long as she's alive. Is that person still going to be up here? Okay, maybe we can still relocate her. Have you spoken to the girl? How is she? I think it's better to leave her alone. Came to take her away. Yeah, it's, it's for the best that she gets taken away. And I remember when she was taken to Peter Stamaton's place, and I spoke with her there, she, she was happy. She liked it there. Glad to hear it. So I'm taking her? Yes. The dead no longer smother Grace. They won't reach her even if they continue to pile up. She's been relocated from the cemetery. Okay. Over to Shehen. Hey, check this out. I can get on top of the bull's heads at Shehen. That's really cool. I wasn't even sure you can go up these hills. I better go sideways so I don't break my legs. And don't sprint. Oyun. Half man, half bull. It's your blood I need to test on, I think. How did you get out, though? I thought Oyun was inside of the termitary, which is still locked. Mere words are neither priceless nor worthless. Mind their purpose. The step is beautiful in fall. In fall is the season of truth. In fall, we keep our promises, own our deeds, our crimes, cleanse our mistakes. A good season. I'm Isidore Burah's son. Little art to me. I remember the first time I held you in my palm. The first time I carried you on my shoulder. I taught you not to fear bowls. I do not know if it was any use to either of us. Perhaps it was to me. Your father's friend. Or used to be. I am a broken man. That's who I am. And you are not, kindred. But tomorrow you will be too. And then nothing will ever be fixed. Tomorrow I'll be broken? Why? Tomorrow will break? Why the hell would I? Because you are Isidore's son. His charge now rests on your shoulders. And you, you're still so little. Mother Bodo, help us all. Better yet, you help me. There must be some sort of unusual blood around here. A terrible tragedy. Many dead. I've seen this disease before. Your father did everything right. I'd give my honor and my life not to let it happen again. But since it has already come to pass, let us take advantage of this tragedy. Take advantage? What are you talking about, Tonger? Our people withered by the year so that the town grew. It was built on our bones. Now, the other way around. The town withers, our people endure. Time to revive the kin. Behara, what we need now is unity, not discord. Wait, kindred. Look carefully, not at me, at Earth. The lines have brought us both to this dead place. I do not like it. So before you ask anything, tell me, why have you come? I'm making a cure for the sand pest. I need blood, unusual blood. Blood medicine, you say? Good. Well, I am the foreman of the abattoir. My life is blood. 
I've cut open more bowls than you could ever see in your life. My arms are elbow deep in blood, my legs knee deep. So where does it come from? Any trickle of blood seeps from the Alongo, from the abattoir, always. Blood means the abattoir, but no one can get in there now. This is the blood of an unusual creature, half bull, half man. Looking at you made me think of it. Stop being silly, Ahar. Why do you ask when you cannot comprehend the answer? You know not how our world works. You cannot cut Bos Toro open. Then again, it's not just you. One needs to see it with their very eyes. Words fail to convey it. I'd like to see it. It's not that simple. I'll gather the people, open the entrance. But it takes time. We'll figure out how the blood streams from there. Who could have thought? The ear bleeds, Shehen bleeds. This is odd. Was there much blood here? I need to understand what sort of blood it is. Can you tell me? Let me think. You look... bad. Could you possibly be infected too? This is going to end the conversation? Oh, but we can have another one. Being stubborn is not the same as being strong, Kindred. What do you want, Kindred? Tell me, what drives you on this earth? I have to take Father's place. But I still don't have any idea what it means exactly. Who was he? Who am I to become? What does it mean for me? I am no one. The kin's fingernail, a fleck of their skin. What can I do? Your questions, your words, must be addressed to the kin. But one must learn to talk to them, and you don't have the skill. That's why I'm talking to you. The kin are a beast of one heart and many heads, and that beast does not yet acknowledge your mastery. No one would take your questions seriously yet. Why not? They clearly treat me with respect. No, you are an outsider to them. Maybe Tai Cheek would take you seriously, but I doubt even that. And the people, to them you are no one, Hayala. I'll talk to Daichik then. Daichik knows not the lines. He struggles to choose one way or the other. Your father had skill. He knew the lines far better than me. And so do you. Your heart chooses right. Daichik would acknowledge you, would speak to you on behalf of all Hatonge. I would support you and explain everything to him. But they would not let me inside the termitary. Who? They shot me with a rifle. The bullet lodged itself beneath the ribs. Nothing I can do now. Since when do we use weapons? What madmen grab knives? How do they intend to live here after that? I don't understand. What can I do? I can overpower six people with my hands alone, but I can't shoot. You haven't answered my questions. The kin will. Your father was with them on the eve of his... death. Do as I ask of you. Say it out loud. You know the answers, but you won't tell me. Is that how it is? I don't like it. Kindred, you won't understand even if I tell you. As if I spoke a foreign language. You have no Udhar, no warm vessel, to hold my answer. You're armless for now. I'd give you an answer, but it'd fall to the ground. You call yourself father's friend. Try to get inside the termitary. You'll find a way. Seek out Overseer Tai Cheek. We need to wield power over the kin to find an agreement. Several thousand people are in the termitary. Olgimsky's town, the town of humans, is dead. 
we will enter the warren. Then we will again emerge and take what is ours. Do you understand? Aspity. Saba. She wanted the same. There are so few of us left, Artemy, son of Isidore. Do you understand that only a few hundred people in the world know our tongue? That only a few dozen remember our stories? That less than a dozen can interpret them? Stop pushing me. You want to know the truth of your father's death, his duty, his path, what it means for you and for me? Then stop acting out, kindred, and do as you must. What? If the people do not accept you, it's useless. How can you understand us? How can you learn our lifeblood? The knowledge of Earth, of Udurg, is meaningless when you're alone. When you're confused, unable to share responsibility. We are all responsible. Merge with the kin. Merge with Earth. Then we'll speak, kindred. I understand, Kindred. I'll find Father's murderer, and we'll seek vengeance together. Father is dead. Oyun doesn't desire power. The kin have two leaders now, Overseer Taichik and Saba. What quest markers do I have right now? Ah, right, the I'll have to fight my way in thing at the termitary. Except I know for a fact that I don't. It's been abandoned. I didn't realize today was that day that going into the termitary and listening to the screams day. <laughs> Shit. It's getting kind of late, but I think I'll be okay. Because I know exactly what to do in the termitary. And where to go. She is a herald of the law. Now, we come to the time when deities begin to die. Do not look at this wound, kindred. Go and do the deed. Oh, right, we can offer them Isidore's home. Do you have a home? I'm no human but a bull. Go to Father's house. Truly, you sense the lines, Hatonger. I suppose I should come there once again to remember and to endure the pain. Come, kindred. Bayarla, Tonger. Hmm. Tell me, you looked for mythical bulls among the steppe. The Aurochs. Is it true they're extinct? I was looking for ancient bulls. Odong said they'd heard them bellow far away. They were mistaken. I walked the steppe a long time. There are no more ancient bulls. The town devoured them as it devours us. The kin, Hatonge. Don't let this loss be for nothing. Go to the Warrens. I'm debating with myself whether I should grab the herbs here. I guess so. I, I thought they were further away, actually. They're just, like, right here. Don't care too much about the specific colors, but I do care about all the suevery. Okay. Let's go. Oh yeah, and I think there's clean water here. Back to town. Let's go to the termitary. Oh hey, wasn't expecting a bad dude here. Oh, you want to do knives? Mine's sharper than yours, asshole. Is this a formerly infected district? It is. That's why there's bad dudes. Damn, I'm actually pretty hungry. Let's take the smoked fish. Let's take the twirine too. Why not? The town is calling me to the town hall. Maybe. It could be Dankovsky related or it 
could be related to the chemist. Maybe I can visit them in the jail now. Interesting. Anyway, are you ready for the screams? I think Aglaia is just inside of here and I can convince them to open the termitary if I remember right. Here comes the screams. 